Hello and welcome back to our Hobbit Rogue Run of Evil Hack. It's been a couple days, um, but I finally have some time again. Unfortunately, I haven't totally managed to avoid the new moon. Um, but luckily, the only real effect is if you don't have a lizard corpse, you'll get stoned by cockatrices more. And I do have lizard corpses, so I'm not worried. Um, since it's been a little while, let's check in and see what we have to do. So first of all, just looking at what we have in our inventory. Um, we have a bunch of uncursed stuff from our exploration, or, or unknown BUC stuff from our exploration in, into lower floors. So I'm just going to run up to an altar and um, BUC test all that stuff real quick. Uh, so while I do that, we can discuss... Oops. We can discuss um, some of the other stuff that I'm thinking about doing. Uh, so first of all, um, I have teleport control now, which is real exciting. And actually, maybe I should have done this before even going to get up to the altar. But if you recall, I tinned a bunch of teleportitis granting corpses um, on the off chance that I got teleport control. Um, and lo and behold, it has happened. I ate a Tengu and got one last time. So I'm going to eat all those tins and hope that I can start feeling jumpy. Um, another quick thing that I can do after testing all this stuff um, and then is there anything in my room to back up? Okay. Um, the other thing I can do after testing this stuff is last time I named a potion um, as possibly hallucination. That was wrong. It was blindness. So I'm going to just take care of that real quick. And what else have we got to do? Um, still considering poisoning my daggers. I do have a potion of sickness on hand if I ever need to. Two of them right now, actually. Um, but currently, I'm still not feeling like that's super important. Um, I mean, honestly, as the game goes on, it's only ever going to become less helpful, but I don't know. I'm bad with using resources, as are a lot of people, I think. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll poison daggers. I need to keep practicing stealing stuff if I want to live up to my roguey nature. So not super necessary, but it could be fun. Um, mine's end, now that I have teleport control, is... Um, somewhere I want to return to get a bunch of the loot uh, that's available there, including the Luck Stone. And um, that's pretty much it for now. Um, I, hopefully at some point I'll have enough potions um, of uh, holy water oops, that I can bless some ID scrolls. I have three identify scrolls right now, that's not many. I think I'll hold off for now, but at some point I'll want to bless it, identify some stuff. Because, um, yeah, it's nice to know what I have. Um, but yeah, so for right now I'm going to try to get some teleportitis real quick. Well, no luck this time. Oops. But hopefully... Um, I'll find some more teleport teleporting corpses later. Uh, let's see. We do have some magical boots. That's nice. Um, and a helmet, which is probably something good, I guess. Uh, what else? Some kind of eggs. Not really important, though. Um, plenty of teleport scrolls. I like to save, uh, use Blessed Teleportation as an escape item, because uncursed ones I can curse later and use for, um, level porting when that becomes more important. Um, one interesting thing, uh, if you recall last time, I was considering the quest and whether that would be a good move. Um, and I hadn't really heard of the quest before. I, I never tried the quest before, didn't know much about it. So I looked some stuff up, and it seems that it's, um, 
it's rather tricky. <laughs> Uh, as test as quests go, it's um, the actual enemies aren't necessarily super deadly, but they're very annoying, and the layout is annoying, and there's lots of problems like that. Um, so, the etched helmets probably nothing in particular. It could possibly be ESB, but if it is, I don't care. I don't need that since I have the PYEC. Um, and then jungle boots, also unclear clear what those are. Hmm. Since they're blessed and magical, well, actually they could very well, I think hobbits identify elven boots, is that right? Yes, they do. So they're not elven boots, and we know they're not jumping boots. Um, they're not kicking boots, because those would weigh 50 units. So I think the only beneficial boots left are water walking, actually, which is nice. Um, still not something for everyday wear necessarily, but uh, on the occasion when I need to dress up, um, like Medusa's Island and stuff, they could definitely come in handy. Uh, so I'll keep one of those pairs around. Also price ID them um, when I pass by a shop the next time. They're definitely not speed boots, because I had my helmet speed off when I tried them on. Uh, so yeah, probably water walking. Um, anyway, so the rogue quest has a whole lot of thieving enemies, which makes sense, but is super annoying. Um, I'll have to be real care careful with like Vorpal Blade and stuff. And uh, they also... It's just a really hard to navigate the area. Lots of um, mazes and lack of teleporting options, stuff like that. Um, also, the, one of the levels has a bunch of chameleons, but luckily for me, I actually have a uh, potion of a uh, ring of protection of sh from shape changers, if, um, which is pretty rare. Um, well, not that rare, but. You know, it's not necessarily common to find one really early on. On the other hand, it's gold. And the entire quest level, the first quest level, is just riddled with leprechauns. So that's not great. Um, I'll have to be real careful around them. Uh, so I'm not super worried about the quest, I guess, at the end of the day. But I am wary, and I don't think it's necessary to go in right away. Um, unlike in vanilla, there's... so the hard limit for the quest is level 10, I believe. Um, you can go in as long as you're level 10. But if you go in before level 14, then the monster spawn rate increases, um, which is generally a bad thing. Uh, so yeah, I don't think it's it's necessarily something I wanna wanna do. Um, and there's plenty of other stuff to explore first. Uh, for instance, I can go to Mind's End. I think I'm gonna start off with that actually. Um, I can price ID some stuff on the way. Um, just a few things that I haven't done yet. And get some loot. I still don't have a wand of opening. It could be one of these two wands, so I'm bringing them. Um, yeah, those might come in handy. Oh, and there is a luck stone here. Huh, I can't remember when I got one. I don't know why I wasn't carrying it before. Oh, I think I just put it in the box by accident. Um, oh, right, the luck stone is. You can get that from Mind's End, and I did. I'm sorry, it's been a while. Um, the extra loot is. The loot that's inaccessible doesn't include the Luxstone, so that's why I have it. Um, oh, and I still have an extra tin kit on me. I don't need that weight because um, I've got my original tin kit in here. So I think that's all I need for now. I'm just going to go stab the goblin real quick because I don't want it hanging around my chest. Um, and I think we're ready to go. Uh, I have a fair bit of gold, 
but only like half as much as I'd need for protection. So I'm not going to bother bringing it because I don't think uh, I'd be able to find enough to make it um, possible to buy any protection. So I'm just going to head straight for Mine's End with a possible stop at a general store. There's one on level 5, okay. Although there's also one in Mine's End, so I can always use that. Whoops, what did I do? No idea. So, yeah, I'm kind of at a loss of what to say for now. Um, skip the general store by accident. So I guess I'm going to use the one down in my town. Uh, one thing I totally should have done is brought my other potion of water, because I could have prayed for a couple potions of holy water. Um, that said, like, there's nothing I super need to bless right now. Possible exception, ID scrolls would come in handy, but I might also want to wait for more of them, so... I think it's kind of a wash. Um, anyway, uh, I may skip from here to Mine's End. Okay, so we're back in Mine's End. Um, you'll recall our friend the Rat King is in here. Um, I'm much more dangerous now, uh, but I still can't super rely on taking him out at range because my daggers are rustable and I can't use them when he's over sewage without damaging them. Um, I am super fast now, very fast to be specific. Though, so I might try to like lure him up to this area here and uh, when he's running down this long corridor I might throw some daggers at him. First though I'm gonna go get the loot in this uh, room here. Oops. Clicking on the terminal is a bad idea, folks. Okay, so uh, I'm going to put on my flying amulet so I don't get bogged down in the sewage, and I'm just going to head for a teleport trap. Um, is this spider nice to me? No. I don't know why it's running away. Oh, I guess it's still scared. Wow. Um, interesting. Um, so I'm just going to put on a blindfold real quick because I don't want to teleport on top of a monster. Um, and there's a whole bunch of monsters in here. So if I were, yeah, um, I think the leeches stay in the sewage if they can. And I think there's like two sewage free squares to the left of that. So I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to teleport to one of those squares, hopefully. All right. And I have magic resistance from the PYEC. Ugh. So I'm going to have to put that in my bag. Apparently that does not end up blasting you. I did not know that. And honestly, I find that kind of odd. But now I do know, I suppose. Because even dropping it, I think, blasts you. So putting it in a bag definitely feels like it should. Regardless, um, we are ready to go. Um, I made it, as you can see. Um, and then there's, yeah, there's a teleport trap in the corner. Um, which I can use Frick. Uh, Tooled Horn. Lovely thing. Um, the teleport trap I can use to get back. Uh, when I'm done here. Um, and now that I'm back in most things have been killed. Um, I didn't want to do this at first because it'll probably damage me a whole bunch. Yes, that was near maximum damage, I think, for a blast. Um, but I'm now all up on ESP again, which means I can see everything that's trying to hide. Uh, my intelligence is for shit, so I can't read this. Normally I would might give it a try because it could be Spell Book of Knock. Um, so you can see this here is a crystal chest, a new evil hack item. Um, although I think similar things, or maybe the same thing even, might be in other variants. Um, the basic idea is... Uh, it's only, it's like a normal chest, maybe a bit lighter I think, but it can only be op opened with magic. 
Um, so that's wand of opening. Whoops. Um, wand of opening, spellbook of knock, bell of opening, or uh, yeah, I think that's about it. Um, I don't necessarily have any of that. Uh, so I can tr try some wands which might be opening, um, but other than that, I don't have anything. Um, you can see there's also an iron safe. These are also a new item. They're kind of like chests, except you have to open them with a stethoscope, um, and it takes a while usually. And you can't lock them again except with, uh, again, by magic. So um, in terms of stash locations, um, there's kind of a gradation of safeness um, in Evil Hack. You've got uh, just leaving stuff on the ground, which is pretty obviously a bad idea. Um, you've got leaving stuff in a chest, which will prevent anything, any monsters except um, those with keys from getting in. And if it's an organic chest, a gelatinous blob could always, a gel gelatinous cube could always come along and gulp the whole thing up. Um, then you've got a iron safe, which is can't be opened by any monsters, but still could be polymorphed if a monster happened to shoot a wand at you like that. Um, and finally, you've got a crystal chest, which is can't be opened by monsters, and furthermore is immune to other magic, so it can never be polymorphed, and thus your stash is completely safe. Um, but of course, to use it properly, you need magical means of opening and closing it. Um, and preferably ones that don't run out. Otherwise, it kind of negates the purpose of having an easy-to-use stash. Um, so I have three wands now that are not auto-identified, um, and so one of them could be opening. I'm just going to shoot each one in this direction. I actually should have saved a corpse. Maybe I'll go try to find one. Because um, if I do, then I think that would actually come close to identifying any possible thing. Hmm. The Rat King's still available. Not really a good corpse for moving, for like carrying it around. Um, not, oh no, I already have, I've already ID'd and did turning, so there's no point in that. Um, yeah. Therefore, I'm just going to go. This one's unlocked, this one's locked. So locking and opening should both be ID'd. Secret door detection, I don't think I'll get any message. Um, what else could it be? I don't know. Let's just see, probing. I think that would also ID. Let's see. Okay, so yes, that was probing. And it is auto-identified, that's handy. Um, and you can see that the crystal chest resisted it. Um, since it's mostly immune to magic, except opening and closing stuff. Okay, that did nothing. Um, which wand was that? How if I know? I, th I want to say that was you. Um, so not opening, not closing, not probing. I think that leaves nothing or secret door detection. Um, we can price ID and I think find out question mark because I'm not certain. And then finally we have this one. Don't let me down. Alright. It was locking. Not terribly helpful. Um, oh, and it auto id That's kind of cool, I guess. Well, that means that currently the contents of this crystal chest are unavailable to us. Um, I think I'm gonna... Um, bully my frustration by murdering a rat king real quick. Take out the PYEC first. Heal up from the blast. Oh, and oh, I think I think I might have full fire resistance anyway, but. Uh, Regardless, oh, I 
was awesome. I've never really understood monster pathing. <laughs> like so. Like, I'm right here. Do you just not notice me anymore? Anyway. Um, and I believe he's over ground now. Yep. So I'm going to throw some daggers at him. I did have a silver dagger, which I guess I could have brought to use against him. But, uh... I don't know. I feel like it probably might not do much more damage than the current setup I have. Hmm. One nice thing is that... Oh, okay, that was easy. Uh, if you recall from many many moons ago. Um, he always has a scimitar of venom, which is handy. Uh, I actually have a longsword, so I could make it into a saber of venom, which is not a bad weapon. Um, and I could always just kind of slide in the direction of using sabers more. Maybe wish for Grey's one deer, although it wouldn't be certain. Uh, I'll think on that, but I'm kind of leaning towards not doing that. Um, I don't know. I feel like long swords are a better option for the most part. Um, I also have a new magical cloak, and that's going to be displacement. Um, plus zero, but I think Displacement's better than Elven still. Um, especially because it's not like I can use the stealth. Okay, um, so since we skipped a little bit before, you didn't see my price IDing on the way up, um, and it turns out that our new boots were in fact water walking. Um, Oh, and I need to change my menu colors so that gold spellbook is also not chosen. That's a real pain. Um, you know what? I'm going to do that real quick, just so you can see what menu colors looks like if you're curious and haven't used them before. So on um, on hard fat, if you go press J from the main menu, you can get to settings, and then you just press the normal key you'd use to start playing a variant from the main menu. So for Evil Hack, press E, and you get your RC file. I have a whole bunch of stuff. Um, but for menu colors, um, you can choose regexes um, that, when matched, will display as a certain color. Um, and the last one takes precedence, so you can kind of start with default stuff up near the top and then go into more specific cases as you go down. Um, for gold, I have it pretty low down, so it takes precedence over stuff like um, what color, like blessed, uncursed, cursed colors and stuff like that. And then I have this whole long thing to make sure it doesn't match with like gold scalpel or gold, uh, gold dagger, stuff like that. Gold dragon scales. Um, but currently I do not have uh, it not matching spellbook. So I'm going to add that real quick so it doesn't match gold followed by SP. Um, I'm sure there's a better way to do it than this. Uh, but they might either involve multiple lines, which would be annoying and might make me forget. Um, or they'd involve like actually being good with regular expressions, which sounds like too much work. So that should be done, and now we can test by opening this up. And indeed, a gold spellbook is no longer colored yellow. Handy. Um, that's nice. Anyway, uh, interestingly enough, this is not colored gold. But it is in main inventory. That's very odd. I'm not sure why that's true. Oh, I think it's when you're taking out something, the first page counts as a menu, maybe? I don't know. Maybe. It, no, that's not true. Okay, I officially have no clue what's going on with that. That could be it. Hmm. Hmm. 
What if we name our eucalyptus leaves gold? I'm curious now. That's very strange. I don't know why the blessed menu color works, but the gold menu color doesn't. Anyway, it's not really my concern. Um, maybe I'll try to find it out later, but I don't really care for the moment. Um, so for now, we're heading back up to Mine Town. We don't really have much to do there. Oh, actually, real, real quick. No, I do not want it to be water. Okay. Um, there's a poly trap here. I forgot to annotate that a while back. So, just doing that so I know it's there if I ever get another pet. Um, which I kind of do want. I'm missing Haze a little bit. Still loving Dragon Bane, but he was a good dragon. Oh, and I no longer have a stash here either. Although there still is a saddle. I actually have the weight to bring that up though, so I think I'll bring that to my main Sokoban stash as well. Um, is there anything we need to price ID? There does not seem to be, no. Oh, there's a topaz ring. So we'll try that out. Another 100. I don't know if that could possibly be useful. Maybe it's like increased charisma. That's not totally useless anymore because you can use it in conjunction with, um, or Ring of Endorment, I mean, is the technical term. You can use it in conjunction with Conflict to boost your chances. Um, but anything above a charisma of 19 isn't actually helpful anyway. No, that's not true. Anyth just totally ignore what I just said. That was just flat out wrong. Um, yeah, so it's useful with conflict, but I'm not really doing conflict right now. I do have a ring, and I don't have any pets. Maybe I should be doing conflict more. Another thing to keep in mind, I suppose. Um, for now, I'm heading back to Mustache. Um... And I'm going to try to remember to steal some more stuff, because that sounds fun. Another interesting note um, from the skipped out section is that I've identified the last 300 Zork mid potion. So I have at least one potion each of gain ability, gain level, and paralysis. Um, Currently, I'm like just a scooch of uh, experience away from level 12, so I'm gonna do that before quaffing any of them. Um, even blessed detect uh, gain experience, I think you'd like lose out on a little bit of experience since it takes you the same percentage of the way to the next level, I believe, something like that. Um, so it'd be better if I quaff it once I'm level 12. I'll have to check on that. But either way, um, gain ability would be nice. It would get my dexterity up, which is cool, although it currently is below its limit, so if I could restore it first, that would be nice. Strength is already at, at its limit. Constitution could be get higher, but it's not super necessary at this point. I'm not really using intelligence and wisdom anyway, and charisma's whatever. So yeah, I'm not feeling a real need right now to increase my attributes, attributes, but uh, definitely something to keep in mind as well. For a lot of things to keep in mind. Um, name the Sword of the Venom, so I remember. I think I might also have a positive enchantment, but that's not super important. Uh, I want to keep these eucalyptus leaves. I want to keep all these food things, actually. Don't need any of these scrolls except teleport. I have no idea why this spell book is called Dusty. I must have done that, I think recently even, but for the life of me, I can't remember why. Um, this is probably hunger. Certainly don't need that. I'll keep the other rings for now. Um, and in terms of wands, oh, I forgot to price ID this. Whoops. 
I'm going to keep locking and probing because there are corner cases where they might be useful and they're like two units each. So I um, haven't actually checked if the sack has anything in it yet. I should probably do that. Don't need a saddle. Don't need another tinning kit. Don't need another stethoscope. Don't need gems on me. Um, and there was stuff. Um, one interesting note is, so if you drop a bag on an altar, all of the items in it, one level in, will uh, identify BC. But if there's stuff nested inside multiple sacks, it won't identify. So I dropped my bag of holding, which contained a sack, which contained some gems on an altar. The gems did not BUC identify. Um, rarely matters, because you don't want to be nesting stuff anyway, really, ever. Except maybe, like, oil skin inside of a holding bag, maybe. Um, but I guess it's something to keep in mind. Um, certainly had marginal relevance to me today. So I'm going to just go back to exploring downstairs. If I recall, there's a throne room that I still have to clear. Uh, other than that, I'm just kind of going to keep going down. Don't want to head into the quest yet, because like I said, it's real annoying, and I don't see any big gain to be had from it um, by doing it now instead of, like, in a little while. Okay, so pretty much, yeah, I just realized there actually is a definitely a benefit to popping into the quest, and that is with all the leprechauns and nymphs, I would get teleportitis almost certainly. Uh, not a not a small consideration, since it would be a useful escape item. I can only use it once, um, but it saves me some charges from my or some scrolls and charges for my teleport wand, stuff like that, so it could come in handy. Uh, still, I don't know if it's necessarily wor worthy of risking losing, like, full vorpal blade and whatnot. So, I don't know. Um, you can see the throne folks have woken up somehow. Maybe I blew a horn last time or something, I don't recall. Uh, I think in general it's a positive that they are more spread out now, but it is slightly annoying that, ugh, not great losing some HP from that, um, losing some max HP specifically, and obviously normal HP, um, but yeah, now I don't really know where they are. I decided to tin a the giant. You never know when a giant will come in handy. And I'm not hurting for tenon charges. Currently I'm at max strength, so it's not really useful, but if I get strength drained, it's I guess slightly better than using a potion of restorability. A little more uh, what's the word? Eco-friendly, no, not exactly what I'm going for. Um, it's less wasteful. Um, I'd like to try some stealing, but right now I'm just trying to kill stuff before it kills me. Um, and eat stuff before it comes back and kills me again. <laughs> or it comes back and tries to kill me again, that is. I'm getting there, slowly. Come on. Okay, trolls are down. And monsters are picking stuff up. Which is great. Probably doesn't have much to love. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to see if I can get it to pick up some other random crap. So I 
Thanks, Dio.